Ooh, oh, that looks rough. Very tough recovery on the clean. But right into the jerk. Yeah. She has such nice footwork in the jerk. Three but reds. I yeah. wonder if that was a... Wobbly for, lockout. Yeah, press out. You know, we've said this before, but we're, we're off to the side. It's great angle for watching weightlifting, but it's not great for seeing uh, elbows particularly. So hopefully we can get a, a replay of this lift now and see how it looked. But for it to be, have been unanimous. The, the clock has stopped, Max. Was a challenge card played or the jury I intervening? I have a feeling the jury are the ones that stopped that. Yeah, it yeah, looks like there might have been a bobble there. She locked out and then unlocked and then fixed the bar. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's on the harsher side of calls. To get three red lights yeah. from the referees for what looks like a relatively small wobble. Let's see if the jury agree with them, if they're going to, in fact, reverse that decision. Yep, they confirmed it, no lift. You know, that, that stand in the clean looks yeah. pretty heavy as well. And seeing Paguero come out early is going to be exactly what Matthew Rogers and Team USA are wanting to see because, of course, she's actually the athlete ranked one spot ahead of Matty in the rankings. Yeah. She has bumped up, but I think maybe only to 130. Is our Regina now. She'll come back out and take this. She hasn't had too long to wait. Tough recovery in the last clean. A little Tough better camp. this time. So fast, that right into nice the jerk. Thing. Looks to be good. I mean, it's it's the same. It's actually a very similar minor. Yeah. It's such a minor wobble in the elbows that time they gave it. You know, the more we see this, the more we see that really subtle little bit of wobbly or locking, unlocking, especially with athletes with you know, potentially very long limbs or really strong jerks where they maybe almost unlock after the catch. We saw that with uh, Andre Bazador. He had some lifts that really <laughs> almost looked yeah. too powerful. And you get a little bit of a bobble. It, it just becomes a challenge because it really forces the athletes to be as perfect as they possibly can. And it's something they might be removing. You know, they, they suggested yeah. that they would talk about removing the press-out rule and then during the congressional hearing just a few days ago, they described trying to make the sport as simple and easy to understand as possible, which was definitely a bit of a nod towards the idea of removing the press-out rule. It tends to be that most of the people we talk to at these international meets are for the removal of the press-out rule, whether it happens or yeah. not. You know, an interesting thing so. is that we don't really see them ever try these things. They could do a, a competition, possibly, or a session with no press out mm. rule. See how it looks. See what happens. I mean, it would just look no different. There would just be fewer yeah. upsets. Yeah. No one's going to purpose, purposefully press out to make a weight. Paguero opening attempt, 130. Good clean. Struggles a little bit to get up. Oh, oh dear. That looked like an attempt to dip. I'm pretty sure it I'm was. I'm not sure what happened there. Let's see if that was just a readjustment. It or wasn't a readjustment because I there mean, was she, no... She definitely a made an attempt to dip. Yeah, they're challenging it. Yeah. Yeah, a readjustment normally the bar goes involves... Up. <laughs> yeah, the bar going up so that there's space to move the hands. She just dropped. Here, let's watch. It was very bizarre. So the clean was comfortable for her. What are the odds that the replay doesn't show it? Let's see. So she drops. Almost looked like she was about to faint. Uh, that was really odd. And then she regathered herself. It almost looked as though her eyes were going. So quite rightly, I mean, 
Well, I, I think that counts as an attempt. Yeah, it's an interesting. Even if she wasn't going to do it, that movement. That that's a, yeah, it's really interesting. I don't think we've ever seen that. Usually, if someone makes a concerted effort to dip, they generally don't even try again. They know no. they, they're out. But there was no, you know, no buzzers going off or anything. So now she got one red from the center ref, which I'm assuming saw that. Well, I mean, how did you not see it? <laughs> well, the referees have been asked up to the jury, and they've just been looking through it. They're now heading back to their seats, so a decision has been made, which we will now find out. The jury has yeah. It's a no lift. It's got to be a no lift. So, Maya Lalo from Canada has been stood waiting a little bit longer than she'd have liked to there. So Dahomas has moved as uh, withdrawn as well. Wow, that, looking at that, yeah, that injury that actually puts Rogers in third place in the snatch. No, I'm sorry, uh, it would should be third place in the total. In the total, right. yeah, as of right now in the lead. Max, it's a heavy opener. We we spoke about yeah, this, you know. That was her very best heavy. Is 131 from the Pan Am champs uh, this year. So to be opening up at 130 kilos is just you know, there's maybe a, a bit of a risk. The other aspect of taking a pull right before you come out for your last opener. But five, five six minutes up. ago that was. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly an interesting strategy. So let's see. I mean, I've, we've never seen Paguero do that before. It's unlikely we're about to see it happen now. There she is looking over the edge of the platform. Almost like she's moving to the start of a 5K. Yeah. You know, where they walk up to the line and lean forward. Yeah. Oh, oh that time it's... Yeah. Oh. The clean was just too much there. She, she struggles in the clean, you know, to bring that bar back and to, to rack the bar properly, but that one was forward yeah. well beyond what she could save. So in the back room, Liang Zhaomei has 75 kilos loaded, Wang Ziyu 65, Matty Rogers sat waiting to take 130 kilos. Yeah, so apparently with Nacy de Homes, uh, from what we've heard, it, they've been massaging both of her quads, and it looks like it was when she caught the 120 and then she lowered yeah. it, it came and she held on, it slammed down onto her thighs. And that's actually what's caused her the injury, which is such a uh, disappointing way to go. You know, she could have let go of that bar. One th 130 mile of lower Canada. It's a yeah, that's just a heavy looking clean. Yeah. It's a bigger it's pull, but you can see, you know, she catches it quite an arrow stance and just the weight is you know, if you drew a line vertically down from the barbell, it's right where her toes are rather than the middle of her foot. Yeah, you can see the bar is not really gaining a ton of speed at the top of the pole, and it stays out in front a little bit. So, 1.30 now. Piguero, her final attempt at this lift. Yeah, this is not four, been a clean adjustment. Four hopeful. misses at 1.30 in a row here. One make out of six attempts so far. You know, it was a relatively good snatch session. Only two missed second attempts. forward. Wow, she held on to that longer than... Yeah, longer than we would expect. Yeah, you know, she was so clearly losing it out front, but she held on. That's a very disappointing session there for Paguero. You know, we haven't seen her... Well, actually, we saw her bomb out in 2022 as well. Four competitions ago, she snatched 106. Didn't make a clean and jerk. That was the... Uh, Manuel Suarez in memoriam competition. So 
So his mare now, 130 kilos, her final attempt. She made one snatch at 102. She really needs this left. Yeah, this is a very aggressive opener for her. She's missed it twice now. She's getting it to her shoulders, but it's just too far forward for her to balance. That's the one. There it is. Does she have the jerk? Wow. She does. She wow. really does. She what uses the oscillation so well. She actually dips very suddenly and very quickly, but she just puts a brake on at the bottom of the dip and uses the oscillation so well. Yeah, that is... <laughs> Surprising. I, what a turnaround. I imagine her coaches have just had a few heart attacks there. <laughs> she finally made that. So making one snatch and one clean and jerk, she's only going to have a 232 total. Eregina will be the next athlete out at 131 kilos for her final lift. She's been waiting in the back for six attempts. Yeah, quite a while. Oh, yeah, just the clean was forward. You could see her hop under it, yeah. and it was just not going to happen. Heavy. You know, even her opening attempt looked pretty heavy. Yeah, it was tough. Uh, we've been sent a 130 from Matty Rogers in the back room. Clean looks incredibly strong. Jerk also wow. very easy. About as easy I've seen her make 130 in the clean Yeah, jerk. she looks to be in rare form here. 135 is loaded. Aileen, of course, still powering weights in the back room. 110 kilos, catching them practically standing straight. That's her style, really. Weightlifting, she... Catch these things as high as she can until she needs to catch them down in a deeper position. Here's Laura Morrow's opening attempt, 133 kilos. <laughs> 133, opening left. It's heavy, you know, her best clean jerk ever is 138. This year, her best is 135. Pretty good clean there. Very solid yeah. left. Comfortable opener. Good footwork. Good lockout. Confidence. Aileen Sokomatana has 130 kilos loaded. So Amara is probably going to bump from this 34. It's only the automatic increase. The question is, does Rogers open at 35 or move above that? She opened very aggressively in the snatch at 110. Was successful there. Looks to be in incredible shape. She'll be called out right now, but the question is, does she take this? She's got a shot now at a medal in the total for sure with oh, yeah. Dahomas out. Yeah, with the is out, I mean... It, so does she play a little bit more wow. conservative game on these first attempts, early she could attempts? get another medal at the World Championships, yeah. and this stack session would be just amazing. Yeah. Of course, she has Aileen Sikmatana to worry about, a very strong clean jerker who might just get in the way of that. She has bumped up, though, to 138. That might call Amaro back out again. So Amaro did not get the two-minute clock. No, is she going to bump up as well? Her best is 38, so I would imagine maybe a kilo more if she does. I think she's waiting here. Well, yep. we spoke she's with Amaro, up. and she said that this year training has just been very good. Um, she's moved training in such a way that she's says so that she's sort of avoided real injuries. Um, she's trying to get stronger with every single competition and climb these Olympic rankings. Yeah. Oh, no she injuries. moved as well. She moved well beyond the 136. She went to 138. Yeah. That will bring Rogers out if she sticks with this 138. You know, seeing as it's a heavy opener, she hit 130 in the back room about what four minutes ago. That might be perfectly timed, really. Yeah. Although, actually, no, she, she went for 135 with 60 now in yeah. the back room. 
And again, it looked very good. I think Rogers is going to take a shot at 40, as my guess is an opener. Yeah, she's put for 40 in. Amaro will be at second now. She's got 138 as her second attempt. Haley and also is at 130. She just power climbed that. <laughs> Pulled wow. the bus so high. So Matty's going to open at 140. Well, right. really, 141 would actually yeah, be, be the weight that would move her up a position in this Olympic ranking. So I, I don't be surprised if she bumps up one more kilo. I mean, that becomes very... It's a very... It's, it's almost a dangerously heavy yeah, opener. It's, it's bold, for sure. But she's looking good, so... You know, you've got to strike while the iron's hot. 138. Amaro. This equals her competition best. It's actually three kilos more than she's hit all year. Oh, it's a Ooh, tough Forward stand. recovery. Watch the re -rack. There it is. Oh. oh. Great she gets attempt. Under it. Yeah. She just was forward. The bar is just too far in front. Very didn't, fast under. Yeah, didn't quite get that bar back behind her head. Well, the, the, the challenge here now is she has a two-minute clock. Yeah, this is a horrible position to be in, really. You know, she's tired from that recovery. It was not easy in the clean. Doesn't get a lot of rest here. She's got to come out and do the same thing all over again. Got to get the wraps off. She'll take oh. a little rest. She can probably burn about a minute of that clock before she has to really get focused. I mean, and then we've got four athletes who haven't opened yet, yeah. you know, all with three attempts remaining, and, and there's going to be 12 lifts that finish this off. It's going to be a great battle. We have the two Chinese lifters who, you know, let's be honest, they're too far ahead in the snatch, and they're too strong in the cleaner jug. They're going to battle it out for, for gold, and then there's going to be a battle between Aileen and Matty Rogers. Matty is two kilos up on Aileen in the snatch. Aileen has the stronger cleaner jerk. I mean, she made yeah. 150 for the junior world record in this category. But both strong. Who knows? You know, Rogers potentially a little bit more skilled, a little bit more consistent. Technically, certainly a better lifter, but, but uh, not with that brute strength that yeah. Aileen has. So she's bumped up another kilo. Amaro has. Yeah. Wow, she's she's bumped really far up. <laughs> oh, she wanted more rest, but that's just a huge move. 140. So Rogers now would be the lifter at 140. This is going to be her opening attempt. Yeah. Well, this actually gives her four kilos on her best ever total just with this opener, but it equals the uh, the total of the athlete above her in the Olympic ranking rankings. That's Piguero who's not done so well today. But I suppose she knows that she's got significantly more in the tank on her second and third attempt. Yeah. This is, is this her heaviest ever opener internationally? It has it must to be, be her heaviest, yeah. This is a huge lift now I mean, I from Matty Rogers. Only made a few kilos more than this ever. It's a Good. strong yep. clean. She's got it. Very powerful jerk. Wow. Yeah, she's in great yeah. shape right now. That was a life. very solid opening lift. Yeah. So heavy as well. 140, she she potentially has the ability to make a run at a very big total here. Yeah. You know, she said that she's focusing on just overall getting stronger, and she said she's got a foot on the gas. And you can really tell, you know, she's getting closer and closer to the Olympics. And if she wants to go for the second time in career, She's got to go all out of these final few yeah. competitions. You know, the earlier an athlete makes the total they need in this qualification process, the better off they are. They'll have more time to recover and train for the games. So her making that total here would be super critical. So here we have Laura Mara, the youngest athlete in the session. This is a big attempt. Just so, so big for her. Yeah, it's a personal best. It's all going to come down to the clean. She's got to make a great lift here. She has never oh, made that, and she's not going to make it today. But you know what? You can tell 
it's technically she's very sharp, really. Yeah, she's getting um, it there. She just doesn't have the strength to push through. And she's so young. You know, give her another five years of just general strength training. Yeah. Or three years even. Uh, and she's going to be a, a real force. So the question now, where does Rogers move to? Well, you know, if we look at purely a, um, in. Yeah, she's gonna an go Olympic for the ranking perspective, she would want to get to 255, 255 would yeah. be ideal. Yeah, 43 is what they've asked for. 255 puts her in sixth in the world. Once we remove Irina Decker and probably a Chinese lift, it's unlikely China will send an 81. She then moves, she then moves to fourth, Max. Until Kwanda moves down. No, Kwanda's already there. Oh, right. She, yeah, is, yeah. she has competed as an 81. Right. Wow. Yeah, that would be, that would be the lift. So Sikamatana here, 143. Although Sikamatana not yet in the top 10, so this will put her in it. Wow. Very strong jerk. That's great. That's a very good opener. Really technically oh, yeah. solid, actually. We haven't seen that kind of sharpness from her before. It's well, kind of yeah. a battle here, really. That's the spanner in the works as well. Is, yeah. Is, is, you know, Matty might sort of in some ways move up into what could be recognized as fourth once other athletes are removed if she makes this next lift. But then Aileen is suddenly going to maybe move into fourth. Yeah depending on which of them win here. Yeah, and it's it's really not enough to be in the top 10 within no. the country if a country has as many lifters. This 143 is the lift right now yeah. for Maddie Rogers. This is huge. She has to make this to get that 255 total to get where she wants on the ranking list for the Olympics. I mean, this is already the best performance of her life yeah. by four kilos in the total. She just needs to extend it a little bit more. Yeah, add another three here. It's a massive lift, 143 kilos. A rough clean. A little tougher in the stand. You have the jerk, though. Oh, no. Came down. Yeah. You know, that clean was a bit tough. It might have just been a little bit out front when she pulled. She and still has yeah. one attempt, though. She still has one. She's going to take well, a little break here. Well, here's the issue is that there's nobody else. She, yeah. She's going to have to follow herself. It's, it's, uh, it's a rough spot to be in because at this point, you know, this lift becomes more critical. There's more pressure, less rest. She's tired. But if anyone has the grit to do it, yeah. Rogers is that lifter. Yeah, it's true. She's been competing at this high level yeah. for just so long now. The most experienced, I mean, is she the most experienced athlete in the yeah. field? She might yeah, I mean, be. She, Her she, first she, international is 2014 Junior Pan yeah. Ams. Yeah, it could be very well. One, four, three. She's got a minute 30. She's just taking her time, getting her mind right. She's got the skill. She has yeah. the strength. She'll recover between these. We've seen her train very hard. She's done a lot of very heavy lifts in the training hall. You know, she's no stranger to this kind of situation. The real shame will be that if she doesn't make this, she will not have moved herself up in the Olympic rankings. Yeah. She you would, know, one more kilo on her opener would have done that. You know, she would potentially also not be in a spot to get a medal in the total without this lift as well. No, she can't. Most yeah. likely a secondary yeah, she'll come goal of hers, but... Yeah. So in that last lift, you could see from, you know, from our angle, the gap between the bar and her yes. thigh was significantly yeah. larger than on that first attempt. And uh, when she caught the weight, she just wasn't as nicely balanced. Yep. And the stand-up was a little tougher. Yeah, you have so much less margin for error with heavy lifts. So here we are again, 143. This would give her the 255 she's looking for. That looks better. Much better clean. It's still a tough stand, but it looks Hard nicer. Recovery. Ah. Just can't get that bar behind her head. She's just too tired and a jerk. Yeah, hard hey, no. fought, a hard fought total. 252 is still absolutely huge for her. 
Still but, a lot of uh, first, you know, heaviest yeah. open of her career, heaviest snatch of her career, heaviest open clean and jerk of her career, best ever total of her career, a lot of best evers, but just not quite, you know, as good as she had hoped for. Yeah, if she can keep that kind of momentum up and progress in training, yeah. Yeah. you know, potentially in Thailand, the final qualification event, she could make that total she needs. She'd also have a little more clear picture as to exactly what she needs. Well, presumably, well, she'll certainly go to the Pan American Champs, but maybe yeah. even she'll she'll go to Doha and compete. I know that Kate Vibert's going to be doing the same to try and get another competition in. So with this lift, Alien. Sikimatana would move into way a... Way up in the rankings. Yeah, way up in the rankings. Basically where Maddie was trying to get. Yeah, Matty was bumped down to 10th, actually. Wow, Pearls very strong clean. That jerk is just Powerful. rock solid. Yeah, extremely nice lifting from Aileen. Wow. So what's she at? She's at 256. She's just now moved into sixth in the world. And she's guaranteed herself, she already had, I suppose, even if she didn't make that, she, she is guaranteed a, a medal in the total here. Probably behind the two Chinese athletes, we'll see what they do. I think we'll see Wang Zhu Yu out next. 147 for her opening attempt. 150 was the weight that we saw her make over and over in the training hall. Her best ever clean and jerk, 160. She did that at the Asian Championships right prior to... Uh, competing at the Olympic Games. It was actually that performance that gave her the Olympic spot. I mean, she totaled 286 That's back just uh, in 2021. Staggering. Just another level to how she is now. Very powerful pull. 147. Oh, right into the go. jerk. No problem. Yeah. Very powerful. You know, she's always been that athlete, when you watch her pull in the clean and, and rack the bar, she's so high yeah. in the catch, she almost looks like she could power it. Yeah, very, very strong. So, 269 is now what she's on. But she needs to get to 276, because she needs to get ahead of Lang Zhao Mei's 275 from Jinju at the Asian Championships this year. And she might need even more than that. It depends what Liang Mei works up to here. Here's her 150. This will put her at 172. She is opening a little bit heavier. Perhaps she is in better shape in the clean and jerk than Zhu Yu. Big opening lift, 150. This would move her into the lead. Zhao <laughs> Mei, probably the more strong overall lifter mm. than Zhu Yu, but points to the elbows there. Certainly these days, you know, she's a little bit younger than Wang Zhu Yu. Smooth clean. So easy. Just right into yeah. the jerk. Too powerful. Yeah, yeah, her lockout in the jerk is significantly nicer than in the snatch. Yeah. I guess, well, she's sort of, she's coming into the peak of her career as Wang Zhu Yu's Totals are you know, maybe slightly on the decline from her career bests. Just that younger age for Zhao Mei is helpful. So Sikamatana here coming out for the 150. Yeah, she's going to be loud for this one. Yeah. You can already hear her. So move her into a 260 total. Okay, here she comes. Already on the bar.
Oh, it's a oh. massive lift for Aileen. Oh, just couldn't get her head back out yeah. in front. She locked out, but it wasn't there. But you know what? She has got a bronze medal at the World Championships. Yeah, big numbers for her, 256 in the total. So a I little back and forth. Done that before. Yeah, back and forth here between Zhu Yu and Zhao Mei here. Zhu Yu is taking a big eight kilo jump from 147 to 155 here. Do you know that other than having bombed out, this is the worst finish that Aileen will ever have had internationally. Wow. You know, first, 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 first. Bombed out, bombed out, first, second. And now third. That's Amazing. extraordinary. Zhu Yu, 155. This is a cleverly chosen weight. This will, if successful, make her the number one ranked 81 in the world for, for a moment. It's a huge pull. Wow, very nice oh, lifting. Word. That is just phenomenal. You know, and if you're trying to work out which categories Team China is going to send their three women from, don't forget that there was a 71 who clean and jerked 153. Yeah, it just shows, like we've talked about so many times during this commentary, there are levels. Yeah. Zhao Mei now the lifter, 156. That would give her a 278 total. Would move her ahead of her teammate, Zhu yeah. Yu. It's just back and forth. Yeah, it's amazing. amazing. They've traded lift for lift back and forth in the placings here. Well, not only are we potentially going to see a 160 at this competition, I think we're going to get our first world record yeah, in this absolutely. category. 158 is the world standard. A 159 to 160 seems likely to happen at least in attempts if not in make strong yeah i mean just incredible she's so strong both of these athletes are just making these lifts and they make it look almost easy you know don't be fooled by the ability of both of these Chinese athletes to just absolutely destroy these weights. Liang Zhou looks physically stronger right now. Yeah, absolutely. But Wang Zhu Yu, she has the experience. She's the Olympic champion, world champion, multiple time world record holder. So if Zhu Yu takes the 58 for a 280 total, that would equal the world standard. Yeah, it w she wouldn't get it, but nope. she'd equal it which would then force Zhao Mei to have to break the world record. Clean yeah, she jerk. could go 158 as well. Right, she could tie it. Uh, no, of course she wouldn't do that. Sorry, that's... No, that would tie a total, be yeah. Yeah, because they both snatched 122. Yeah. So it would force a world record attempt. Yeah, 158 equals the yep. world standard. Yeah, Zhao Mei is put for 59. Zhu is 158. It's just a matter of... Interestingly, it's... Oh, they're both moving. Now they're going to 159. Zhu Yu is withdrawn. Wow, Wang Zhu Yu has decided that she can't go up. Whether it's through injury or experience, she knows that she's not going to come out I for another attempt. The question, does Zhao Mei come out for this? She, she has to. That's the issue of Team China. Yeah. They, they have to show the coaching staff that they're not just the best in the world, that's almost a given that's at this point. Really but they are very far ahead of the rest. Very uncharacteristic for an athlete to withdraw on the third clean and jerk in a battle like this. Yeah, it must I mean, be some sort of injury. Or yeah, I mean, even if she knew she couldn't make it, she would at least, at least try. walk out on the platform yeah. and take a shot, right? So this 159, a new world record in the clean and jerk. Yeah, since the change in categories... What no would the total be? It would be 81. So it wouldn't be a world record in the, cl in the total. Yeah. Just a clean and jerk. This is enormous. It's a good clean. clean. She'll go right for it. And Walks that's it a, out. 
Yeah, that's the easiest. That might be the easiest world record we've seen at this World Championships. It's certainly up there. Liang Xiaomei <laughs> is now a two-time world champion, a back-to-back -back world champion. It's three straight international wins. It's silver in the snatch, gold in the clean and jerk, and a world record there, gold in the total. She remains the number one ranked 81 in the world, but she does it in style, bumping up her total by six kilograms from her Asian Championships win of 275. <laughs> Absolutely staggering stuff there from Zhao Mei. Look at the ease of this lift. Yeah, there is no doubt in her mind on this jerk. She just goes right for it and absolutely hammers it home. So strong. You know, she every time in the jerk, she's a touch forward, but it looks like it doesn't make any difference it to her ability yeah. to make it. <laughs> it doesn't phase her. We haven't yet found a weight that can stop her in the clean and jerk. Just incredible. So gold medal, Lang Zhao Mei, 281 kilos. Silver to Wang Zhu Yu, 277. The bronze to Aileen Sikamatana, 256. She enters the top 10 in at number 6, bumping Matty Rogers down to 10th, who, uh, despite improving on her total by 4 kilos, only managed to equal the total of the athlete above from the Dominican Republic, Peguero. Uh, of course, Peguero competed here, didn't lift so well, but Peguero's performance in uh, Havana at the Grand Prix just a couple of months ago, uh, 252 also. So, unfortunately, no totals for the two Ecuadorian athletes. Tamara Salazar withdrew from the start, and Nacy de Homes, the Olympic champion, withdrew after hurting both quads on a 120-kilo snatch. We have the women's 87-kilo category still to come, of course, and in that session, we're going to see... Uh, whether it's possible for, well, I guess the whole goal is going to be can Salford Koanda beat Liang Xiaomei's total. She's tried to do that in several competitions, just remind the 81s that when she comes down, it's going to be her category. But 281? Yeah, you know, that's a uh, great point. That might be a bit too much for that, her. That 281 is, uh, is up there. We saw last year's World's 81 category was won on, I think, a 270 total. 270, yeah. So it's up 11 kilos yeah. in one year. It's gone, and that's what happens with the pressure of an Olympic category. Yeah. The best of the best are drawn there. Competition increases. Expectations rise. And, uh, yeah, this category just got a whole lot more interesting. That's going to be it for me and Max. We'll be back in uh, just over, just under an hour for the women's 87 kilo category and the return of the world champion, Salford Cranda. Stick around for the medals.